Brooklyn Nets versus the 76ers, a preview of this series, which I hope my Nets win. Uh, I think a key matchup is the 76ers defense versus the Nets guards. And listen, I, I, I'm very happy to be in the playoffs. I think we're ahead of schedule. Definitely did not expect to be here, I think, as those Net fans are going, going against the 76ers. I think the defense of the 76ers versus our guards is the, the crucial matchup of this series. Uh, you know, we have a lot of ball handlers. They could definitely do uh, damage against the middling pick-and-roll defense. Joe and B drops back when defending the pick-and-roll, which leaves gaping holes in mid-range. Philly's trade-off is that it defends three-pointers at the third-highest clip in the NBA, meaning those kickouts may not be a reliable option for Brooklyn's uh, initiators. In every other aspect, the Nets love to attack the basket and export for threes. But if they want to make the Sixers pay, um, the, the middies have to go down at an elite clip. So far, Brooklyn's lead guards haven't been bothered. Russell scored 39 when these two teams squared off November 25th. And two of Dinwiddie's four highest scoring games on the season, 39 and 31 points respectively, uh, came against Philly. Naturally, a more intense playoff environment could light a fire under the uh, more experienced team. But their personnel doesn't exactly give much reason for that to change, which should have the Nets salivating. J.J. Redick is a glaring hole on defense. His most reliable replacement, James Ennis, uh, will likely miss the series with a quad injury. Uh, if Redick gets roasted on defense... That can mean crucial minutes for rookie uh, Smith there. Take that, I think, for what you will. The Nets are going to push the envelope of just how much Brett's Brown, Brett Brown's defensive philosophy can handle. How much can Embiid handle is the question. The, Nef, the Nets' strength provides uh, a tougher matchup than you think for Philly. Right? The Sixers have a mediocre pick-and-roll defense. The staple of Brooklyn's attack. Russell, Denwood, Denwitty, and Levert can all give the Sixers trouble, forcing Joe Embiid to switch and be put through the ringer frequently. Embiid won't go down without with a fight. He won't go down without a fight, of course. Against Brooklyn this season... The process, quote-unquote, averaged 30 points on 60% shooting overall and 45% on three. So he has made his presence known. The Mets, do the Nets have anyone that could match up against the Embiid? Uh, I don't think so. So their hope is to run him into the ground with a barrage of pick and rolls. And it's been very easy uh, for MB to, to get dinged up here and there. So the idea of him tiring in the tightest of circumstances is not outlandish. But, look. That's why you have guys like Butler... And Harris. You have to look at it as well. Can the Nets depth carry them? You know, Brooklyn is built on depth. While Philly, you might say, they consolidated depth in favor of top tier talent. The latter seems to be to play better in a postseason setting. But the Sixers are taking it to the extreme. The Nets, meanwhile, has, have emphasized the other end of the spectrum, sometimes running a rotation deep as 12 players. Of course, this could merely be a deve developmental strategy for Kenny Atkinson. After all, a 42-win season is mostly gravely, it, it's gravely, it's, it's gravy for us. As they are, we're, we're still grooming a lot of our young guys. But in several close games this season, Atkinson has opted for a different lineup combination. 
Some nights, you had D'Lo. He would sit out the last few minutes of a tight game in favor of Dinwiddie. Other nights, the two would share touches at the expense of Levert. The flexible roster that Sean Marks has built gives Atkinson uh, a blevy of options to attack the Sixers, but will it actually matter. The Sixers' best five can attack virtually any mismatch. Let's be honest. They could. Now what do you say? What do we predict? The Mets, the Nets won't be an easy out. Uh, but I think the talent tends to, to trump scheme in these scenarios. I, I, I wish I'm wrong. I wish I'm wrong. Um, the Sixers have the best four players in this game, arguably, in this series. They have good players. They, that rot starting rotation is great. It's deep. It's good. And that's going to matter more than the Nets' strength in numbers. Embiid has experience torching smaller lineups. And the Nets don't have enough floor spacing at the five to make it to make life hell for Embiid. Ben Simmons' and ability to shoot will be challenged in this series, but not enough to sway the series. He can post up on mismatches, find the open shooters and slashes to defeat the purpose of uh, to defeat the purpose of uh, sagging off. Um, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, the, this Phillies talent, though, is good. The Nets had a wonderful season. They're not quite ready yet. This will be a learning experience. But, but by any stretch of the imagination, we will not be swept. We will make this challenging. And I hope we do win. But my honest opinion, it's going to be very tough. I hope all is well. Let's go Nets.